Hello, hello. What is up, everybody? How you doing? Uh, I just wanted to hop on and get some extra grind time in. It is the last weekend to get Fabled stuff done. Um, it is the last weekend for us to get stuff done as far as Fabled content. Real quick, I just wanted to start things off with wishing one of my characters a happy birthday. This is what your character looks like in-game whenever it is your character's birthday. Their name flashes all different colors. It's really cool, really cool effect they ended up adding later on. But anyways, I just wanted to wish my druid a happy birthday here. I made my druid five years ago to this day. I have been, I had no idea. To be 100% honest, I had no idea that I made my druid this long ago. I remember making him years ago, but I didn't know it was five years ago. I thought it would have been closer to two or three. But anyways, just wanted to say a happy birthday to my uh, my druid character here in game. This is on the Fury on a V server. And yeah, so as you can tell, we got our whole little gang here. We got our group put together. It is time to start knocking out some fabled content. We still have a few lock offs from lockouts from earlier this week, uh, but a lot of it should be popping up again, and these other ones we should be able to do again by Monday. So, anywho's, just to start things off, we are gonna go for uh, Lord Inquisitor Saru. That is going to be our first little raid target here, because why not? The crowd seems to love Saru. I love killing and beating up Saru. Let's have a good time. So anyways, it is a wonderful Friday night. Thank fucking God. Uh, sorry for the cursing there. I know that triggers some people, but... I am so happy that it is Friday. It has been one of the longest weeks of my life and I all I wanted to do this entire time was just play some EverQuest. And I've played a little bit throughout the week, but most of the videos that you guys have been seeing lately have been of uh, like mischief content from last weekend. So I figured now was now is the time for some Fury and a V, high action, high level action. Oh, and I'm ready for it. I am ready for some fat loot. <sighs> Just needs to happen. So here we are, and we're going for it. I actually don't think I've done, I sadly think I missed a week of killing Saru and the Luckland bosses which is really lame. So I have to make sure, I'm saying I have to, like it's like a deadline or something, but it kind of is a deadline. I, I need to make sure I hit this content again at least once. I need to hit Saru, I need to hit uh, Sra, Lord, uh, I keep saying Lord Inquisitor Sra, Emperor Sra, I need to hit Vexthal again. We got some ground to make up, so. We're going for it. Mischief has been a very good time. We have, I think, like 20 people or something in our Mischief uh, Guild, which has been really cool. I've been having a really good time with those, uh, as you can see, our raid wipes. I didn't even think about it. I didn't plan to make like the raid wiping videos back to back to back like that. It just kind of worked out like that. I didn't plan to make it back to back, but so... Let's get some content of me not just dying repeatedly. <laughs> Mischief has been a really good time. I am ready to get my Rogue Epic on Mischief server, which is what I'm hoping to do either tonight or tomorrow if I can get the people. So that should be awesome. I am so ready to get my Rogue Epic. This is going to be only the second time I've ever done the Rogue Epic since I've been playing EverQuest. I did it once a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Anywho, uh, what I was saying is I did the Rogue Epic once a real long time ago, so it's gonna be really cool 
to get to do it again. I got all the parts farmed for it. Pretty much the most important thing that we need to do is just the big Kethikor forest fight. And then it's easy peasy. So I'm ready to get that done. Ready to get the Rogo Rogue. Oh Jesus Christ. I am ready to get the Rogue Epic done and over with. Just so whenever the 1.5s and 2.0s drop with Omens of War in less than a month, we'll be prepared. Or at least a little bit more prepared. There's gonna be some competitive content for it, I'm sure. Just because new expansion drop. And I, I, I use the term new very loosely. Are you gonna let me stand up here? Jesus Christ, there we go. I'm so tall. Fable Lord Inquisitor Saru. Yet again. Is, it, is his hand always glowing like that? Or is that just like the first time I've seen that? That's kind of weird. I don't remember seeing his hand glow like that. I really, really don't remember seeing his hand glow like that. Hmm. Well, here we go. He's running for it. Get over here. Look at all those procs. 50,000, 65,000, 28,000. Kind of hard to believe he's level 80. 124,000. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that attack. My sword's bigger than yours. It would be cool if there was an illusion to make yourself look like him. That would just add to it so much better. There we go. Fabled Sword of Truth, at least. Hey, at least we got another one. As hilariously oddball that uh, damage delay ratio is. Fabled Bow of Storms. You know what? I am not upset about that at all. Oh, he dropped the Sew Boots. Nice. Twink items. That's the best part about the Fabled content, since they actually drop like twice the loot. They drop the Fabled items in addition to the regular items. Alright, so we're done here. Let's go back to Planet Knowledge and Twilight Sea. One thing I am kind of curious about uh, with Everyone else, as far as whenever you're playing EverQuest or just games in general, like, what is your go-to background? Uh, do you have, like, movies playing in the background? Do you have music playing in the background? Do you have kids screaming in the background? <laughs> I mean, like, what's your go-to? Do you just enjoy having even just, like, YouTube content? Do you just have that up in the background? Because... Uh, I'm just genuinely curious because myself, normally if I'm playing the game and I'm not just sitting here trying to record it and get content to make, to put up on YouTube, if I'm not doing that, I normally have 
like three other things going on. I've got my three monitors and then I've got a big TV next to me. And then I've usually got my phone like propped up against like my microphone or something like that. And I'm just sitting there enjoying, you know, a plethora of things playing in the background. Uh, like what is your, like your go-to? Do you have anything playing in the background whenever you're playing uh, EverQuest? Or do you just, just kind of vibe out to the music and the sounds of EverQuest? I know not everyone is as <clears throat> annoying as me, I would probably say, when I like talk about uh, like just sitting here talking to myself or just kind of curious what everybody else is doing as far as the, the video game. As far back as I can remember, I remember me and my brother uh, playing EverQuest and then we constantly had something playing in the background. Whether that be, you know, music videos, stuff like that. I mean, we always had something playing in the background. What about you? Is that something you do? Do you have any interest in having stuff playing in the background? Or are you just strictly, you know, you got your one thing going on and that's all you need? And not ev I know everyone is not as ADD as me. <laughs> not everyone has to have constantly something going on uh, like I said I've got lots of things going on I normally have like a, some other EverQuest streamer or some other streamer up in the background while I'm just playing my video games and then I've got like Netflix and something playing next to me and then I probably got headphones in as well I gotta have lots of sound going on around me at all times. But I know I'm weird and not everybody does that. My all-time favorite show has kind of run its course with me and I'm looking for like new content to start watching on a regular basis. Normally I've got like horror movies or something playing in the background because I really like horror content. So I'll normally have like horror movies or something playing in the background. And which it's really funny because then I've also got like lo-fi music playing in my ears. Like in my headphones. Just sitting here like vibing out to lo-fi video game music. It's really kind of funny. I, 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 Cause my best friend makes fun of me a lot whenever I'm sitting here talking about the plethora of things I've got going on. But you know, if I can do one thing, I can do four things. That's kind of my motto. Like, why not do all the things? I work so much, there's so many things I constantly want to do, and I feel like if I'm not doing all the things, then I'm like 100% missing out on my time off. Yes, that is likely a problem. An undiagnosed problem, but I don't care. That's just how, that's how it goes. Uh, let's see, ooh. Wow, damn, look at these items. I don't know why I hadn't hit this content before. Like, why have I not killed this guy before? That's some good shit. Fabled Mind Puncture. Wrath's Edge. Hey, I remember that. That's actually some pretty damn good loot. All right, now time for Mr. Zerichor, the creator. But yeah, like now that my my hobby, my backup, my favorite show of all time, now that that's kind of run its course on me, uh, I, I gotta find something else soon. I can only rewatch uh, Halloween so many times before it's time to find a new uh, comfort show. And yes, judge me if you will, but no, I will not change. Ooh. Ooh. That's not bad. It's definitely no Fable Blade of Carnage, though, am I right? Damn, we're getting some crazy good intelligent caster items. I feel like this stuff would all be better suited for 
uh, level 70s, not 75s. Oh wow, look at that. No level requirement either. I really wish that like one thing that they would have done with some of this fabled content is they would I wish they would have occasionally dropped like no level requirement fabled items. Like imagine having a beast level 75 item, but there's no level requirement on it. I wish they would have just dropped that for like shits and giggles. Just for us to the the crowd to get it and to freak out, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, look, this character's got a damage 70, delay 25. Two hand blunt at level one, and that you can't even really properly wield it until level 30 because the damage cap. <laughs> but you'd be a hell of a level one through 30. I guess that everything after that you'd be pretty sickeningly good. Uh, let's go this way. But this, this is my comfort zone right here. Got us. Oh no, we don't. We don't even need to go up. Never mind. This would be if we did the uh, the other event, and we did not. So we are done in the right wing of Sra. So let's GTFO. Go on back down. Did I just not? Did I just come through here? I did. Pardon my dust. I am so sorry. It has been a couple of weeks since I've been here. Okay, now we're going down. We are done with the right wing. Now we're going through the center wing. And... We're gonna go chug a chug chug all the way up to the top floor. Are we? No, we're gonna go to the basement. We're gonna go to the basement, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're gonna go all the way down to the basement and we're gonna see if our uh, Vaza Draw the Cursed ring decides to actually operate this time or just give us a random fucking lockout. Two different times this last month I've tried to do for the Creator and he just chooses not to spawn. So, we're just gonna see if we can get him to spawn this time. He's kinda tanky, he got little hit points. Um, I don't know if anybody here remembers my last video that I did here when I got the fabled ring of the Shisar. That was pretty cool. Now we are actually truly keyed for the Emperor's Room. And we got ourselves a sick weapon with Shisar Bane damage on it. So not only are we actually prepared to get into his room finally, we're prepared to kill him properly with actual physical damage. So yeah, anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Who knows, who knows? piece of candy, a shiny moved, and suddenly I lost focus for where I was going. Anywho's, yeah, uh, the Fabled content has been a crazy fun blast from the past for me. Not just because I've wanted this Fabled loot for a long time, but because I've wanted to see it. A lot of this, the, the Fabled bosses I only ever saw on Alakazam. I never got to see these bosses in person. So it is incredibly uh, rewarding, I guess I should say. It's incredibly rewarding to actually get to see this content like live in game because there's no way I ever would have seen this unless they, uh, without them adding the Agents of Change so you can get your own instances. And now that we have that, I can actually see all these bosses up close and personal. It is, uh, for lack of a better word, fucking awesome. Where is my, there we go, I'm running out of bag space. I need a 200 slot bag, please. 
just one, a 200 slot bag, because I can't have this stuff mixed up. It's gotta be in this order or else I am just pissed off. So. It's gotta be in this order. So I either need to have it all in one bag or I'm just gonna constantly have to have Uh, yeah, it's, it's got to be done in this order. That, that's all there is to it. <gasps> Holy shit, he actually spawned. Holy shit, we got him, folks. Would you look at that? Nice. Now let's kill him before he despawns. I am so happy that he finally came out to play. That is badass. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see what it is. Previous spawns drop. Ooh. Got the cleric hammer. Kind of useless. Blasphemous Blade of the Exiled. Wow, it's been a real long time since I've seen that. It's even got disease damage on it. Fabled Black Rune Pants. More stuff with HP regeneration. Fabled Circle of Sm- Oh! Wow! The Gate Clicky Belt. Oh, that is very cool. That is very, very cool. Nice. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Look at that. We actually got to kill him a second. Or was that a second time? That may have been the first time I've actually got a chance to kill this fabled guy. Ooh. Well, hell yeah. Look at this. Fabled Blade of War for one million. Could do probably sell it for more expensive than that. When I uh, when I saw last, it's a two million dollar weapon, two million platinum, I should say, not dollar. It's a very very expensive weapon because it is hands down like the best two handed weapon for level seventy five by a long shot. Does it have a raging blow? Yes, but do you put out some sick DPS? Absolutely. And yes, I'm a rogue. I could disarm the traps, but will I? Absolutely not. I got some nice music playing in the background. Oh, of course you guys can't hear it, but see, this is fantastic. The only thing that could make this any better right now is if I had some beer. But I shouldn't do that, so I'm not going to do that. I got to get my got to get my hot guy summer on. I got to get Gotta get in shape. Oh, this pandemic has been a killer on motivation and exercising. So I, got, I gotta get my exercise on. So I can't be just sitting here drinking beer as much as I want. <laughs> it's almost worth it not to. But this is a fantastic fucking time. Oh shit, let's put our weapon on. Fabled Scimitar of Shisar Slaying. Got our weapon on here for... Well, it doesn't really matter if we backstab, I, I guess. Um, I guess I didn't really consider that. Come on, you bastard, attack me. By the way, this looks like a sick fucking weapon. Look at that. Looks like the... Uh, Valenzek. It looks like Valenzek's sword before they designed it in game. It looks so cool. Literally, the only thing I could ask for that would make this weekend better would be if they gave us a surprise experience bonus weekend. Because I really want to get my druid on mischief up to 65. And I want to finish maxing out my AAs on my rogue. Last weekend, I was able to get the last bit of my 
offensive AAs on my rogue. So now the only thing I'm missing is the defensive AAs. Hello, let me, hello. Can I target the enemy? Don't know what that was about. You wanna attack me yet? Am I just not clicking stuff around enough maybe? There we go. that it's not even letting me backstab but it's it's getting I'm getting backstab proposed against him <laughs> I love being a rogue sometimes all the time yeah all the time Way too long for him to actually bite the bullet, but that's okay. Okay, what did we get? What did we get? What did we get? He has like a super limited fabled loot table. I mean, that's always a really good weapon. Monk two-hander, envenomed moccasins, fabled shawl of awakenings, fabled torque of the warm lord. Nice. I like surrounds you with invig invigorating power, increasing charisma, stamina, and hit points. <laughs> oh, he dropped the the uh, the mount. Nice. Well, hell yeah. Oh, we definitely want these items. These are twink items. I didn't even think about grabbing those. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. Okay. All right. With that being said, that is it for these guys let's get out of here and i guess vexthal is the next logical stop it is kind of funny uh watching some of my the everquest streamers that i really enjoy watching on friday nights uh there's one guy in particular i really enjoy watching his streams but you can tell that this poor guy is kind of burnt out on everquest as a game in general which you know we're all we've all been there we've all been through that wonderful experience that is EverQuest Burnout, but it's kind of, I don't want to say it's sad, because I still enjoy watching his streams, you can tell he's still having a good time, but like on Friday nights, I guess, or raid nights for his guild on Mischief, and you can tell just watching the guy play that he's just not really, he's not into it. Yeah, and I, I get it, I totally get it. Like, damn, that's gonna get really boring after a certain period of time. I love EverQuest, you guys. I really, really do. But I would get so incredibly bored if I played nothing but EverQuest all the time, and especially raided like for five or six hours on a Friday night and then every day on the weekend. I would get so, so tired of it. Again, like I said, I absolutely adore EverQuest. I've been into it for a very long time. But there's there comes a time when it's time for a break. And I... <laughs> I love watching streamers because you can tell they're doing it. Yeah, everyone wants to keep their numbers up. Everyone wants to keep the crowd happy and stuff like that. But man... Whew. When it's break time, it is break time. And I've been having such a good time on the EverQuest channel myself, you know, making content for you guys and showing you guys all the like shenanigans that my guild on Mischief has been getting into and us getting absolutely destroyed by all these enemies. It's been a really solid time, but it's gonna be, there's gonna be a break time at some point for sure. I don't feel it coming on anytime soon because I haven't really felt the the steam wearing off, you know what I mean? 
And for sure, once we're done here with uh, Vexthal, uh, we got a really big day planned tomorrow for content as far as I, I need to make sure I hit plan of time one last time. There's a few other lockouts like Temple of Eshin, stuff like that, that I really want to make sure that I hit and get one really last solid run in before the Fabled content goes away. Because again, once it's gone, it's going to be gone for a year unless they do something surprising and just like bring it back for some apparent reason, which I'm down for. If they announced, you know, tomorrow that suddenly they're going to allow fabled content to be accessible every week if you want i would be so fucking happy i don't think they'll do it because the the fabled content i feel like is one thing that brings their numbers up really high around this time of the year and they need that kind of encouragement to bring people in and uh speaking of changes in general um it seems like they uh, had like a pretty good announcement of changing uh, some stuff on Viniki and Yelenak as far as keeping people interested. Uh, I didn't know one thing they were talking about changing, but they actually ended up changing for sure was uh, slowing Viniki and Yelenak down a little bit. And then they, they actually dropped the spreadsheet showing like the different rewards that you're going to get for leveling up characters and beating bosses during those achievements on Baniki. Like there's special illusion items that you're only gonna be able to ever get from that server, from that time frame. So that was really cool to find out. Time to be a rogue, let's do some shady shit. Ooh, pick lock, 515, nice. Uh, but another side note, one thing I have been thinking about and considering since the content on Mischief has been so entertaining as far as like uh, getting people together and doing guild stuff on Mischief, uh, I'm hoping to either continue with Mischief long enough to get to current content I have not seen myself or eventually join a guild that is doing that content so I can see that stuff myself as well because there was a huge portion of content that I just completely missed out on for raiding through uh, like the Seeds of Destruction, the Buried Sea, a lot of those raids I never got to see in person. So I'm really excited to hopefully keep with this character long enough to see that content uh, in person. Like I think that's gonna be really cool actually. I'm really excited for that. That should be a really good time. Whether it's with a guild of people that like I've made myself or it's with like a guild of people I end up joining. Yeah, of course, I don't want to leave this guild of people that I have, but if everyone ends up quitting and I'm just there playing by myself like on Ferion of E, I'm going to 100%, I'm going to find some sort of a raiding guild at some point so I can do that content. We're just over here not even paying attention to the fabled stuff that's dropping. Whoops. Oh, nice. Very nice. Fabled Scepter of Calicor. Tons and tons of fabled items here. There is for sure an abundance of fabled stuff that... Oh, let's just go this way. An abundance of fabled stuff that we get from Vexthal. So this is going to be a great little loot haul. So any items that we don't get uh, replaced on our trio of danger, we will have items in abundance here to give to them, just in case. Oh, also, one thing I didn't think about, I was looking at my uh, analytics the other day, and there's actually a surprising amount of not dudes watching my content, which was very shocking. I don't know, I, obviously there's women that play EverQuest, but I was always used to in raid guilds just only ever dealing with dudes playing this game, but I was looking at my analytics on YouTube and it's like 33% of people watching my content were female, or at least identified as female on there, and it just blew my mind. Oh fuck yeah, Fabled Villa Flames, yes, 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 yes. And he dropped the Tiny Bone Bracelet. 
This dude just knew exactly what I was wanting. Flaming Sword of Zol. We just got some fantastic fucking loot. Really, really, really good loot. Hell yes. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying is there is a surprising amount of females who actually play this game. Or at least watch uh, my videos. Which is really cool. Like, it, it was shocking. Not that it's a bad thing, of course, by any means. It just, I, I don't ever expect women to actually play video games. So it was really cool to see that, that there was like a large portion of people who watch my videos were female. So the point is that I'm getting to that I wanted to say is to any women out there who are watching, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day weekend if you are moms and or anything else in that range, happy Mother's Day. It was funny, I was in a meeting uh, it was me and a whole bunch of higher ups at my job and it's a zoom call meeting because we still have like my bosses who are basically the owners of my company that are all like working from home and I just on the zoom meeting I was like oh hey happy pre mother's day to everybody and like these women were all like bursting into tears happy that mother's day was coming up because it's mother's day you know you're supposed to treat your moms right during this time of year so I just wanted to share another cool thing is uh, happy Mother's Day if you are a mother and if you watch this content. All apparently 33% of people who watch this. <clears throat> oh, another one of those? Come on. Belt of Dark Thought. Do we already have one? We don't. Ooh. See, why? That's stupid. Cleric, Paladin, Ranger, Druid, Shaman. Like, but where's the Shadow Knight? I guess they don't. Do they not? Shadow Knight? I don't think Shadow Knights have any fire based spells, so I guess that kind of makes sense, but still. Increases damage of fire based spells by up to 65%. Gimme loot. Gimme loot. Gimme loot. Gimme loot. Give me loot. I love seeing all these bosses fabled. This is really cool. <laughs> My irrational little geek out session that I seem to have every time I see this content fabled. I'm just like, oh man, it's so nice. What did we get? Let's see. Where's the fat loots? Fabled boots of Kai Thorn. Okay. Mana skin. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember seeing that before. That's cool. Fabled girdle of focus. I think that's an. I don't think we have one of those yet. Sanguine eye patch. Increases one hand piercing skill. <laughs> Tell me you're an item for rogues without telling me you're an item for rogues. Well, that is some great loot from these guys. Let's do South Wing. South Wing. Oh, of course, right as soon as I close out my my little handy little pickpocket. Not pickpocket. Pick log. God damn it. Well, this is definitely going to end up being a longer video. I think I've been spoiling you guys with some shorter videos lately. Because I've been trying my best to make sure I'm getting content out every day. That seems to be the kicker for the YouTube algorithm. Is not just uploading content that people like. You want content every day. So it seems like the con that the algorithm favors even they, like it would rather you have a crappy video every day rather than one really good video once a week. It seems like the algorithm really prefers that. I wouldn't know. I'm still a super small channel, so it's not like I have the best stats yet, but 
Okay, we need to make sure we put that in bank. Vapal Dagger of Thought. Jesus Christ. That is an insane dagger, though, with those stats. I'm trying to make sure I get enough of these items both in my bank and on our character. Because we don't want stuff to rot unless it absolutely has to. Okay, we'll girdle of focus. We can put another one of those in there. Save the items. There we go. Now that I'm done fooling around, fling me, mama. Invisibility versus undead clicky earring. That's cool. Oh, fuck yeah. Super help. Oh my god. Whoa. Look at that strength. Damn. And hand to hand plus 50. Tell me you're a monk item. Without telling me you're a monk item. Through the hidden wall. I want to make sure we kill all these guys while our banker is still up. In case we gotta put some extra items. Ooh, look at those backstabs. Oh, damn. You're also flinging me. Fabled Orb of Satisfaction. Ooh. Focuses mana into black bread. Okay. Shield of Energy. Okay. Really good caster item. Wand of Everlasting Water. Yep, so we get, you got the food clicky and the water clicky. Not that I would ever really use that as a high level, because that stuff doesn't have stats on it. One of the most important things you can have is food with high level stats on it. Get you that extra little competitive edge there. Jesus, you're all flinging me. Flingers. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Oh, it's more shields. Damn it. Fabled Atenhara. Death by Snoo Snoo. Burn her. Oh, I've been silenced. Fine, I'll just melee you to death like a peasant. A level 75 peasant. That was easy. Earring of Eradication. Fabled, ooh. Look at that attack, 50. Fabled Nail of Judgment, Cleric Druid Shaman, Jesus Christ, that does me no good. And that's what she dropped the most of, Fabled, Fabled, Fabled. All these items for Druids that I keep getting, but no intelligence or wisdom on, the, on them. Why, why, why do you do this? But that alteration plus 10% is kind of nice. Earring of Eradication, okay. Now we gotta go back up and beat the North Wing up and we'll be done here. And I know this kind of goes without saying, but again, to the people who are watching and to the people who are still sitting here watching, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you guys for the explosive channel growth. I say explosive, but it's been pretty massive. It's way beyond my expectations. So thank you to the people who are sticking around and having a good time. That's what I'm here for. I just want to show everyone that EverQuest can still be a really solid time. EverQuest doesn't have to be dead because you gave up on it 15 years ago. <laughs> Trust me, I did too. They have not taken this 
old school content from us at all. If anything, they've made it more accessible as a solo player than ever. So, especially on guild on servers like Virion of E, do yourself a favor and hop in and have a good time. It's free. You can play on Furion of E free. <sighs> there are constantly people like myself going out of their way to make sure and give everyone as much free loot as possible. It, it, it's, it's incredibly easy to get into and have a good time. Figure in a V is free trade. It is 100% experience boosted. So you'll literally go from like level one to level two in a single kill. And if you're even playing soloing twink, like you'll go from like one to uh, one to 10 in just the blink of an eye. So don't let the idea of whatever quest once was intimidate you from playing. If you're planning on playing on live servers, it is a different experience than what it ever was back then. If your intentions are to play P99 or Project 1999 or one of the emulated servers like Shards of Dahlia, I cannot confirm or deny what that experience is like. You just have to let me know if that's how you want to play the game. Have a good time. But live servers are a whole different beast than what it ever was back in the day. EverQuest was always about taking as much time from going to 1 to 50 as possible, and these days they do their best to get you through those as fast as possible. Three Mask of Resilience there, sir? Okay, come with me. Banker. Need you to come out here away from the enemies. Let's put these items up. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the content. I will see you guys in the next one tomorrow with a whole bunch more fabled content while it's while it's still here because as of Tuesday, it's gone. So here we go. I'll see you in the next one.